Hello, I'm Dr. Marla Shapiro. If you're interested about your bones, worried about the possibility of fracture and what it means to you, well, you're in the right place because today I'm joined by Dr. Risa Kagan and we're going to be talking about a concept of something called fragility fractures. Risa, welcome. Thank you. So in addition to being a NAM certified menopause practitioner, you also are certified in bone densitometry and you serve on the Scientific and Medical Advisory Board of Foundation for Osteoporosis Research and Education. You're also a clinical professor in the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at the University of California. So why does a fragility fracture mean and, and what is even a fragility fracture? You break a bone, so what? So what? Well, it's important to, to educate our patients about the fact that over the age of 40, as you are an adult entering into that next phase of life, if you trip or fall from standing height and you break a major bone like your hip, your spine, your forearm, your shoulder, that is by definition a fragility fracture. You didn't fall, it's not traumatic, off of a ladder or a roof. Um, if you just trip on the curb shopping and you break a bone, it means something about your bone strength. And that is an important differentiating factor for future bone loss and future fractures. All right, so that's such an important statement that one fracture can beget another fracture. Once one has a fragility fracture, you are at risk at any part of your body. It means something about your bone strength and you could absolutely are at increased risk for further fractures. So that means that's like a bone attack, like a heart attack. You've had a bone attack. So it's time to take that seriously. So often our patients are focused on their bone density, but this is an important modifier that really punctuates your bones are speaking to us. Bone strength is really made up of two components. Bone density, which is very important, probably about 70% of bone strength, which we can measure on that test called a DEXA scan or bone densitometry. But the rest of it is, is about bone quality, which we really can't measure. And when somebody falls like that, even with a pretty good bone density, that means that something's going on in that person's bone quality that is not so good, and they really do need to consider therapy. So in terms of lifestyle management, and there will be a group of patients that will need medications, but all of us need that lifestyle advice, what should we be doing? Well, you know, modifiable risk factors are the alcohol, stop smoking, the usual. Um, I think that people need to make sure that they are vitamin D uh, replete, means they have enough vitamin D in their diet, and most people can't get enough in their diet. And vitamin D is important for muscle strength as well as bone metabolism. So most people need to take a supplement of vitamin D. As far as calcium, just eat calcium rich foods. We recommend about 1200 milligrams a day. Each dairy serving is about 300 milligrams each. You can get calcium fortified everything nowadays, almond milks, tofu, soy, um, and leafy greens. So eat a very healthy diet, but probably to prevent a fragility fracture, work on your balance. Right. Strength and balance, fall prevention, do anything you can beyond aerobic exercise, which is good for your heart, but, you, but for really for preventing fractures, you wanna do something related to bone strength and also muscle strength and balance. So the bottom line for our patients who've suffered a fracture, sort of discounted, I fell and you would have broken a bone too, the message from you, Risa? The message is, number one, you should, if you're 65 and older, definitely get a, a, a bone density. If you're younger and you've had a fragility fracture, you have the indication for getting a bone density. Find out where you are at. You may need to consider therapy even younger than 65 to prevent that next future fracture. But beyond pharmaco pharmacologic agent and therapy, really make sure that you have a good healthy lifestyle, that you eat a healthy diet, that you get enough calcium and vitamin D, and of most importance, strengthen your bones and your muscles and stand on one leg. See if you can stand on one leg. And, and, don't, fall and don't, fall don't fall over. And that would really help you prevent a fracture. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you.